Well guys, I'm out here checking traps. Uh, I've checked most of them, we had nothing. I still gotta go up top where I've been catching those raccoons. I'm running my line kind of backwards today, but I'm gonna run up there and check those and those will be the last ones, but I uh, wanted to show you guys something. I'm right here where I uh, I set four dog proofs right here in this area. There's a bunch of dead trees, so uh, I decided to go ahead and put some dog proofs here and see what happens. And I wanna show you guys something. Right there, I don't know. You can see that cow. That cow right there. He was bedded down right beside that skunk. I mean, they weren't three foot apart. He was just laying there. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Didn't really expect to see a uh, cow bedded right beside a skunk, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and take care of the skunk. Hopefully, you don't spray, and we'll get the dog proof reset. I don't know if you can see him better. I'm a little closer. Right there. It's crazy how the cows are just standing right beside him. Don't care. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get him dis dispatched. Alright, so I got that uh, skunk dispatched. Got the trap reset. Skunk didn't spray. Uh, the trick to uh, dispatching skunks without them spraying if you don't want to use one of those, you know, skunk sleepers or any kind of needle, broomstick, something like that, where people usually inject them with acetone, uh, shoot them in the lungs. I mean, that's the best thing. Try to aim right behind the front shoulder. And, you know, usually it'll take about five, six seconds. They're done for. They don't spray. Uh, of course, you're going to have a little bit of smell, but, I mean, they don't spray. So, anyway, uh that skunk was caught in the egg or the dog proof where I had the Chernobyl egg my DP coot crunch and some fish coon syrup so uh, that's our first catch using the Chernobyl egg one thing I have noticed using them where I'm at there's a lot of cows out here uh, the eggs attract the cows because I've noticed uh, about every morning my eggs are knocked off the traps but the traps aren't messed with and I think the cows are just the cows can see them and they're messing with them I'm guessing that's what it is I'm not too sure so if you're gonna use them around cows just I guess be cautious about that uh, but I mean it worked pretty good it caught that skunk I have uh, four dog proofs here within about I don't know 30 yards of each other and uh, he was in the one with the egg so Anyway, uh, we got just a few more traps to go check. We're gonna head that direction. Well, we just uh, just came up here and checked the rest of the traps. We didn't have nothing, so uh, just that skunk today. But you know, uh, this is my fifth check day out here, and we've had I've had at least a catch every day. So I uh, can't complain about that. I'm super excited. I have a really good uh, market to sell to this year. Uh, I made a goal that. I was going to do some uh, some of my own fleshing and drying and stuff like that to maybe get some more uh, money for my fur, you know, get a little more out of it. Uh, but I actually found a buyer that's going to buy everything from me on the carcass hole. Uh, I can cut the glands out that I need to use. The skunks, I can keep the essence. They want to buy the animal all together. So it's a really good market. Uh, the more money that I would get for the fur, even if I were to flesh it, so I can't complain about that. Uh, and all my coyotes that I can't sell live, they want those too. So uh, that's just great. You know, I feel blessed to found a market like that that I could sell to. That you know is going to save me time, which is great because with the businesses and everything else, I ain't got a whole lot of time, and I try to spend as much time as I can with my family because that's the most important thing in the world. You know. If there ever comes a time where you know the trapping the business any of that starts to take up too much of my time and I'm not able to spend my time with my family like I need to uh, you know that's just that that's something that I'll have to stop because I always have to put my family above that stuff but even for my family I got to put God you know uh, that's just the way I try to live my life uh, you know I'm trying to be a better man every day and that's just uh, that's kind of my goal in life now so 
anyway i appreciate you guys watching i hope you enjoyed the little video it's a short one but we got the skunk first skunk of the year i think now i'm up to what four raccoons one coyote one possum one skunk so uh it's pretty diverse across the board still haven't caught a bobcat or a fox but i'm sure eventually we will anyway i appreciate you guys watching uh reach out if you have any questions or anything like that check out my website at blakelystrapping.com you can get all my baits and lures you can get uh hats like this you can get the trapper's pole all kinds of stuff i appreciate it catch you guys next time god bless y'all